How's it going YouTube? I have got crap everywhere. So that can only mean one thing. We are doing shit. <laughs> Right, what we're going to do today is modify the headlights. So I've done one, I'll show you what we're going to do. I'm going to split this video into two because wiring up is going to be quite complicated to how I want to do it. So what we'll do is today we'll do the headlights. We'll split the headlights, fit some projectors. Let me show you what they look like. Okay, that's it all off. That'll be the side light, stroke, daylight, running light. That's the hids on. And some little mood lighting just for shows. Let's turn that on. And there's that. I think that looks good. Let's have a look how we do it, shall we? Right. What we need to do is split the headlight and fit some bits inside. Let's have a look what we've got to fit. By Zenon HID projector with the halo ring. This is because it's the Bison and one, it's got the, the high beam shutter as well, so we can do a low and a high beam with this. We've got some red LEDs. These are just PC case LEDs, 12 volt PC case. Over here, we've got the HID kit, which comprises of the HID bulb and the ballast. First thing we've got to do is split open a headlight. So let's have a look at that, shall we? Right, when you're splitting headlights, there's quite a few ways to do it. There's loads of wrote down on the internet how you do it, but be careful. The first one, this one, this one went in my oven. As you can see, it melted on that side. The reason it looks like that is because my oven's a bit small. I had to prop up the light at a funny angle, and whilst it was in the oven, it slipped and touched the side and melted. So that's that one melted. This one is the replacement for that light. But I had another problem. The other side, it was all milky. And no matter what I did, I've split it open and I've polished it, I've sanded it, I've done everything possible and I can't get this to stop being milky. So what we've got here in that box down there brand new headlights you've already seen one the other one's fitted on the front of the car this is the other one now let's get this open shall we okay first job take your light take this screw out what we need to do is heat up the glue that's in this channel and as soon as it gets warm it turns to a liquid and then you, you can pull it apart so we've got a plan to do that right i got this planner for dan this worked out quite well for the other light it's to me it's a bit more controllable heat than in an oven and as the new lights i really don't want to ruin them so what we've got is a heat gun the light in a box What I'll do is close the box, make a little hole in this first corner away from, away from the light because we don't want any direct heat going onto the light and then just heat up the inside of the box. Give it a few minutes, have a feel, feel how hot the light is. Once it's, once it's really nice and warm then we can take it out and carefully start prising it apart. <laughs> Okay, that's nice and warm. It's quite warm to touch. It's not red hot, but it's quite warm. So all we need to do is just move these clips out of the way, get a flat bladed screwdriver or something, just put it in the gap and twist and just keep slowly working your way around the light until it all opens up. Just really take your time with this. Once it starts splitting, 
you'll see the glue stretches between it so use a knife or something just to cut it because it's it gets everywhere if you don't so let's get it open shall we there we have it off right first job which I did on the other one is this orange indicator there's one screw inside I just unscrewed that and took it out later on I'll fit some of the orange uh, the chromed orange bulbs inside there it looks better than the orange well I think it does anyway right to fit the projector we need this little reflector out here on the back there's two little tabs in there we just need to bend those over and pull the reflector out that's that bit done for now right now I'm gonna fit the the red LED for the little demon eye effect inside so the first job we need to strip this down. So let's take this to pieces. Right, there you have it all stripped down. That's completely in pieces now. So what we do is we take this projector, take this LED right, and I will stick it around the inside. And there you are, as you can see. That's stuck round the outside now, and I've put a little cable tie on there just to just to stop that from pulling it all off. Let's put that back together, shall we? Uh -huh. You're looking at a shooting star. Got more than a couple of people going mad. I swear they're rooting hard. Tell them I'd be big in a game like she Right, what I'll do now is just tidy up these cables a little bit because I want them coming out the bottom through the side light bulb holder so what I'll do is I'll tape these up together and just make them look a bit tidier what I, what I did on the last one was I want the cable to come out about halfway and then it'll come out of the the side light holder so what I did was just to cover up any coloured cables because it reflected in the the reflector of the original lamp was just use a bit of silver tape just to just to stick it over and then it stops any reflections of any coloured coloured cables next job we need to take this little the bulb clip off it's got three little screws in it take this nut off prepare the back of the light we need to take this clip off it's just got one screw holding it on to fit the projector we have got a little rubber grommet to put on first put the projector through the light put the little washer on the back it's got the locating pins so it'll only go one way and then tighten up the nut let's do that But before I do it, I'm going to feed these cables through through the side light hole. It is important that you get the, the projector the right way up, else it'll throw all the, the pattern out. But it's got the locating pins on the back, so it will only go one way. Let's tighten it up. We'll put this little clip back on next job we need to take a little notch out of here so the cables can go to one side and the side light holder can go back in we don't want that open 
Well, on the side light, I'm taking the stock bulb out and I'm fitting a blue LED one. This is not going to work off the side lights. This is going to be wired up to work off the same one as the red demon eye. So this will only come on when I want it at shows and things like that. You can see there, I fit, cut a little notch in. So let's get it all back together. There you have it. There's a the projector fitted. Can't see any of the wiring. Without taping up all the wiring all nice, you could see the wiring reflecting in there. That's how the last one was, so I had to redo right. that. To put this back together, it's just really the reverse. We need to give it a good clean inside, make sure it's got no dust or fingerprints, because they will be there forever. We need to place this cover back on put the heat back onto it to make this glue go soft again and then just basically push it back together right that's that back in place i'll heat it up again in the box and then i'll just push it back down and that'll reseal it so let's do that right there we have it one headlight unit with the projector fitted and all sealed back together what we'll do before I finish this video is we'll have a quick look at the wiring of the actual light and then in the next video we'll wire it to the car because that will be the complicated bit. Right on this bit I've got three sets of wires. We have got the white wires here which plug into this ballast and that is the 12 volts for the halo ring. The black wire I've got coming out here, that is for the demon eye. The little red and black wire I've got coming out here, that is for the high and low beam shutter. So that will be wired up to the high beam on the lights. Okay, on the heads, this is how this, these are set up. This is the bulb in the box. It's just in a box just to protect it. This comes, this comes out. That'll go in the back of the light. I've got a little retaining clip there to hold it in. The bulb plugs into the ballast setup and then all that does is that's got a live and an earth that wants to go to my lights. So that's the light done and ready. The next video will fit them and get them wired up. I hope you like the look of them. I'm quite impressed with them actually. We've seen in earlier what they look like. Okay so if you're not subscribed already don't forget to subscribe and then in the next video we'll get these finished get them all wired up. See you next time.